This Alexa Flash Briefing is sponsored by Team Automotive Group. Hello everyone from WAFB Channel 9. I'm Matt Williams with those Friday headlines. Yes, indeed, it is Friday. You've made it to it. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to get to that forecast in a quick minute. It's a hot one. We know a lot of folks got a lot of plans coming into Friday, into the weekend, so there's a lot to talk about. Need to get you caught up here, though. The breaking news early this morning, right around 4, 430, a pedestrian struck along the interstate. Let's give you a look here at where this happened. You know that uh, where the if you're driving along I-12 uh, west, you get that flyover right there kind of near the merge, obviously that flyover onto I-10 east. It's right there where that flyover dumps onto I-10 east. That's where the crash happened there. Uh, again, corner on the scene. According to uh, officials, pedestrian struck and killed there. Exactly what happened here, that's still being investigated. But as again of about 7 o'clock this morning, all lanes are open after uh, a couple hours of investigation. Obviously, when a fatality is involved, they, they have to take their time and make sure that uh, everything is taken care of there. But if uh, if you got that alert this morning, if you were stuck in, in traffic this morning, yeah, that's what was going on. We'll keep you in the know. Speaking of getting in the know, uh, got to get in the know when it comes to this election coming up, or it's right around the corner, and today is the last day for Voter Registration Week in Louisiana. Let's give you a look here. This is obviously what you're seeing here is a bunch of EBR locations, chances to register. It's uh, clearly the biggest, uh, most populated parish in the viewing area, but look, it doesn't matter where you live. There are multiple opportunities to get registered. And look right here, check out this story. If you scroll on down, you can click the link, take your right, uh, you can register online. You can still, you got many opportunities to do that. You can still register online. You still have some time to do that. Just make sure if you do it in person, uh, whether you do it in person or online, that you do, in fact, get it done. Less than 50 days to that election day. So I want to make sure that you are in the know. Uh, okay, let's get to some of the, the weekend happenings. It is a football Saturday, about to be in South Louisiana. Three of our four area college teams are playing at home. Southern's on the road. So we'll focus on the three home teams, including, of course, LSU. Uh, they are home of, uh, on Saturday, taking on UCLA. Our Matt Venezia was live on campus this morning, giving you a bit of a taste because SEC Nation is going to be live on campus. Uh, that's kind of a, that's the SEC Network's version of ESPN Game Day. Obviously, they travel all over the country. SEC Network travels over the uh, Southeastern Conference, and they're going to be on the campus of LSU tomorrow as LSU takes on the Bruins. Now, as big as that game is, uh, you can make the argument it ain't the biggest of the three games. It actually may be the, the smallest of the three home games that our area football teams have. Here's why. Nichols is opening up their home. This is their home opener. Uh, t tomorrow, Saturday. And after everything that Hurricane Francine put folks through down there, this would be a good opportunity to come together. So have a look here. Nichols taking on Mississippi Valley State. Uh, both those squads still looking for win number one. Can the Colonels make that happen? Again, what a great opportunity for everybody to come together there in, uh, in Thibodeau and root on, root on the Colonels. Three o'clock, the kickoff uh, there in Thibodeau. Now, this may be the biggest game of the weekend in South Louisiana. Southeastern taking on South Dakota State. Why? The Jackrabbits of South Dakota State are the two-time reigning FCS champs. They're the number one team in the country in the FCS. Now, here's the thing. Southeastern just took down uh, up-and-coming Eastern Washington uh, at home for their first win of the season last weekend. So they got some momentum building. I mean, wh what a win that would be. Six o'clock, Strawberry Stadium. Hammond, America, going to be the place to be tomorrow as the Lions take on the number one ranked South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Find your way to get out there. Find a way to get out there. Tailgating ought to be awesome out there. Tailgating ought to be awesome everywhere uh, in South Louisiana to get ready for some big-time football. Here's the thing, though. Get ready for some heat. Jared Silverman was telling us that this morning. Get re it feels like uh, not fall. Fall is around the corner. Officially begins 744 in the morning on Sunday. It ain't going to feel like it this weekend. It doesn't, gonna, it doesn't feel like it on, on a Friday. Let's give you a look at what's coming our way. You can see the temperatures. Uh, the heat index is going to play above the actual temperature by a few degrees as well. So if you are going out there to enjoy all of these football games, be it Friday night lights, be it Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening, whatever you're doing, please hydrate with the right stuff. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Take you uh, take that health of yours uh, seriously. Be careful out there as you as you enjoy a football, a South Louisiana football Saturday. We'll see you next time. Sponsored by Team Automotive Group.